Hi Gemini, welcome to your annual forecast for 2019. So I'll just try to make this quick and concise, okay? Because the past two forecast is actually very long. Okay, three and a half hours. So let's take a look, Gemini. Let's start now. Let's take a look at your January month. Mm, feeling so stuck. Trying to make a brand new beginning. Oh, Gemini, if there's actually a water sign in your life right now that's been like um, trying to manipulate your life financially, then, uh, well, I feel like this is all the true on this question. But we'll still be looking for more clarifications after that. We actually turn between an earth sign and a water sign, okay? It seems like with a water sign, you're financially established and secured. But with the, um, the earth sign, I feel like this is where you can really find more emotional happiness and fulfillment. Okay? But you gotta choose. You gotta do what you needed to do. Now when it comes to work, you need to relax and you need to have some complete rest because your body is already you know tired and already calling out for a break you're also feeling a little bit burned out with a lot of things that's you know especially with the stress the deadlines over expectations well your lazy colleagues is also trying to burden you with their own responsibilities that instead of them uh, performing their own duties and obligations they always ask for a favor from you so it's time for you to draw the line as well this month of January now let's take a look at your sex life mm And your health. All right, Gemini, this month of January, you'll be feeling a little bit stuck, okay? It's like there is something that you wanted to start, make a brand new beginning or initiate or, you know, like catapult your ideas when it comes to your work and also something about your relationship that, you're, that you've been having some problems, issues and having some communication gaps, okay, in the past. But right now, this is all about brand new beginning and a brand new chapter, however, Right before you can start something about when it comes to your personal life, you need to make a choice between a water sign and an earth sign. Now with a water sign, and please take note, this is a general reading, okay? So whether it's a man or a woman, okay? Now with a water sign, there's more stability, security, finances, you know, uh, maturity as well, understanding. But you're not entirely happy, you know, that that side of the relationship is really dry and your sex life is not really that exciting anymore or there's no zest or no passion no fire now when it comes to the earth sign this is where you can really really picture yourself you know it's like this is where i can really find myself in this pot you know with this person that i really want to be with however there are a lot of necessities there are a lot of needs that needs to be filled up with that earth sign yes the sex is good the love the connection you know the um uh what do you call this the uh the appeal is also there the attraction the flirtations so it's like you're feeling like a teenager again but there is no 
stability. First off, this person is very much delved into their own world. They're very hardworking. You know, there's no question about that. They're not going to be using you for money. But this person is just starting their life, their career. So their priorities are kind of different from you. From whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're planning. And the bottom line of this is that you will end up planning only for both of you. While this person, this earth sign person that you're kind of a little bit, you know, gaga about. Um, they're kind of somewhere in the middle. So make sure that before you make any sacrifices or make you, before you make any bigger commitments or, you know, or choice. Make sure that you're in the same page. Alright, because... At the end of the day, I feel like this person will be choosing themselves. Because first off, they know where they stand. Okay, you can't really blame them. You gotta give them any assurance that they will be your choice. Even though right within you, you're so head over heels in love with this person. And definitely, you're gonna be choosing them. But you're not letting them know. Because you still wanted to be indecisive because of the stability that you have with the water sign. Okay? Now, the truth will come out by the end of this month. And I feel like you will be up for a big transition. And I feel like you will still be choosing the one that you have stability with. Alright. So, the other person is still pretty much hanging. Or, you will just keep them on the side for now. Okay. So, you all you know the answer to that. Now, when it comes to your finances and your career, you know. Things are doing great, you know, when it comes to your work and there is actually a project that you're that you're already starting, initiating, working on it. There's already development and progress. And you've been doing great. Okay? There's no doubt about that. There's no you know, that's there's th there's not even a um like a question about if you can deliver it or not, because you're very efficient with whatever it is that you do. However, your depression, your personal things, your personal stuff, emotions, you're being preoccupied by your own emotions and by your, let's say, heartbreak, okay? Because you're torn between the two. This is the one that's been like, um, you know, this is the one that's been like preoccupying you. This is the one that's been taking a lot of your energy. And this is the one that's been taking a lot of your focus and concentration in your work. So, there are, there are things that you're supposed to be delivering right at the middle of the month. Or you are supposed to be delivering this because you're, you know, you're done. You're good. You're okay. But there will be some times that you're like, eh, you know, I still have time. You know, why not? I just sit down here and uh, daydream. Now, the thing here is, you need to segregate your personal stuff against your work stuff okay because your career is moving your career will be doing good and your finances your money and everything else will be you know will keep on flowing it's just that family matters is number one second is your heart matters and third is your own happiness so if you will just keep on letting this personal stuff get in the way of your careers and finances, then definitely you are already creating a traffic of your own. You're, you're already creating a delay of your own. So what should you be doing? Right in the middle of your success or right on top of your success, you still feel lonely and sad. Okay, you feel like something is missing. It's like, yeah, I only have two. You know, I need to choose, in fact. But it's like, why is it that something isn't right? Why is it that something is missing? I feel so lost right now that I, I don't even know where to, you know, where to find myself or where can I place myself right in the middle of this chaos. My boss is, you know, my boss is good when, you know, when he's right in front of me. But when, you know, when I'm not really looking, I know what he's talking about. You know, I know how he talks about me. And so, you will feel somehow feel like it's time to go or it's time for a change. 
all right you will then try and find like an excuse reason alibi or you know something that would just give you the reason but this is just going to be an idea at this moment especially if you're in the field of uh, technology IT or uh, something like that or fire industry this is not yet the right time for you to walk away this is not yet the right time for you to go through another big transition because you know emotionally and personally you are going through a period of ending in a new beginning and when it comes to your careers and finances keep this you know established for now don't make any any other changes and don't create a ripple that you that you might just um, regret later on okay now when it comes to your sex life it seems like you will try to woo the water sign and at the same time you cannot really stop thinking and you know you can't really help yourself not to see the earth, the earth sign both at the same time i don't feel like that the two of you do work together or you're in the same area in fact that i feel like this earth sign is working in another place and that your both of your works are not really relevant to each other okay so there are times that you are that you will just sneak around and you know try to spend some time with this earth sign because most of the time you know personally and sexually emotionally physically your your energy is preoccupied by this earth sign but you also want to maintain this water sign inside your life okay so i don't feel like you're gonna get caught this month but uh, there will be some adjustments and i feel like it will become even more obvious and you know it will be screaming out of you that who you really want to be with so try to be a little bit real and try to be a little bit more you know outward and bear the consequences if ever that you know who you really want to be with and if ever that you're not going to be made you're not going to be making a choice or choosing the right one then the universe or life will be choosing the default for you and you might not like it all right you're also afraid to lose the, the the earth sign anyway and you're also afraid to lose the water sign now when it comes to your health before your immune system has been like you know a little bit weary and a little bit weak and um what do you call this very um fragile but right now you know with the proper exercise pro proper exposure and proper you know um activities you're able to go back to normal because you've been losing weight in the past for the past few weeks or months and now you're slowly getting weight or you're slowly getting better you know especially when it comes to your skin you're also very conscious about your skin anyway it's just that by the third week you'll find yourself having some colds and fever body pain and frequent migraines high blood pressure high cholesterol and you will also have this swollen feet because of your some problems with your kidney all right so let's take a look at your february forecast i will be pulling out oh sorry for the singles first i will be pulling out your um oracle cards later right after all of the spreads and right after all of the um months okay because i just wanted to trim this down to at least one hour of reading okay let's take a look singles if you're gonna be finding love this month Gemini.
this thing that you just started out with an air sign is with another air sign more likely another Libra or a Libra it's not really gonna pan out well but you will be meeting somebody who is younger than you around 20 late 20 uh, late uh, around 27 20 29 mm, have a stable job and um, I feel like this person is also ready for a new beginning or ready to have a family but for you you only want to have fun because you just stepped out of this you know heartbreak and this painful cloud of broken relationship and you feel like you still wanted to explore more you you're not yet ready to get tied up to get committed you still wanted to you know explore more of yourself and uh, have fun but what if this is really the one so if you're gonna let this person go and you're gonna say no i'm not yet ready for a commitment i feel like this person will not you know take your answer and instead will make you realize that what if i'm i'm the one what if we can try you know or, or let me in into your life and uh, help me remove that pain and fear that's inside of you what if I'm the answer to your problems? And what if the I'm the answer to your happiness that you've been looking for? Why not give me a chance? So it's going to be a very sweet beginning. And this person is also very confident, you know. And um, I feel like they're going to be swooning you. But just make sure that they are not really romantic only at the beginning. And you have to note their consistencies during the time that you were dating but love is definitely coming your way this month of january so good for you single gemini's let's take a look at your february forecast Success, finances, getting so burned out, walking away, running away, and taking a break from everything, and running away with someone as well. A former rival at work will be resurfacing again and I feel like this person will be somewhat creating a crack in your perfect month okay meaning that this person will be starting a uh, tension or friction between the two of you just because of a project that will be awarded to you right after a successful completion of a project that you've been handling and working and doing for the past few months and it will turn out that turn out that this person will be very bitter now let's take a look at your health like you're gonna be experimenting in yourself you it's like you have some underlying health problems that you are already starting to get tired of uh, you know using the synthetic medicine so you're gonna be opting to it's like you're gonna be diverting your attention or, or you know your your focus on some other non-synthetic medicines now 
Success is coming your way. Okay, this month of February. And I feel like right after handing over the other project or having a completion of the work of yours that you've been doing for months and weeks. I feel like finally you'll try to break free from the pattern or you'll just try to have a little breather and uh, you will just tell yourself that I need a break. You know, I've been working and working and working and um, I don't feel like staying at home as well, you know, so... You want to take a little trip, you know, out of the city at this, just for a little while, even if it's only for three days to two weeks. And you just want to be alone at this point. Now, somehow, I don't feel like you're going to be really alone, alone, as somebody will be following you wherever you're going. Okay, this earth sign that will be taking a break as well from their work, and they, you know, they would ask to. If they could join you. And so the story goes. Now. The only thing. The only good thing that I can see here. Is that finally you're able to go back into your focus. Go back into your concentration. And even if you're. You know. Ha you're having a little bit of a vacation right now. You will still be. Gearing up more of your ideas. You know. Practicing your proposal. The presentations. That when you come back. This is what you're going to be pitching in. You know. Stuff like this. And you're going to be very upbeat. Okay. But. When it comes to your careers and finances. As, a, as I've said. That there will be someone. You know. A rivalry. Or a former rival at work. Or a former competition. Will finally be resurfacing again because I feel like this issue hasn't been re really resolved in the past. And I feel like both of you just decided to walk away from each other, you know? But this fire son is really a bully. I don't feel like this time he's gonna let you get off the hook, and I feel like he's just gonna, you know, let you walk away with, you know, winning and with things. So, there will be. Another break or another opportunity for the two of you to really present to the company or present to your bosses who really deserves this kind of position. Because if you will be pitching the right idea, proposal, project, or whatever it is, however you want to work to make it work, or however you want you will be working around it, or whatever it is, you will be the next person who will be sitting on that position that a higher key decision maker will also be vacating because they are going to be retiring the f this year not following year but end of 2019 okay so this is more likely is your prize opportunity and a test opportunity plus you know this is more likely a little game that all of them will be playing around so since that this person you know is you know this person is good i feel like they're very you know they're very well versed and uh they know their their jobs you know like at the back of their hand and um there's no doubt about their that de their dedication it's just that the main problem with them is that they're overly confident they're not that polished and they let other people do the work for them instead of i mean unlike you that you are the one who's been like doing this on your own manually okay so i feel like this is what this fire sign couldn't really do and that is why this person is also very insecure and jealous of you until that there will be like um until that there will be like a like a finality of this rivalry okay something is going to come up and something is going to happen that this person will suddenly just turn up and quit they're the one who's going to be quitting and that is the one that you have to watch out and that is also the one that you have to you know Wait around just to make up for your stressful month. All right, yeah, you're gonna be able to relax and um, have some fun on the side. But you know, even if you're over the end of vacation, you can't really help not to think about work again. Now, sex life. 
you will try to make it work and you will try to be one with the one that you're really with okay you will also try to bring back how it used to be you know how you touch each other but then something inside of you is really calling for the memories for the warmth this the, the smell you know in the skin of the other person so it's like you will really try and find a way you know and how to be with the other person even though you know that you have to cut this off once and for all and um you really need to get over it but then you will also be changing your appearance you're going to be very conscious about how you look like i also feel like some gemini's will be going for botox or facelift nose lift or something like that or uh, breast augmentation for women and some works about your feet it's not about pedicure it's more of rectifying bones or bone alignment huh. oh and also your posture you're going to be very conscious about it now when it comes to your health you will be mixing and you will be like uh, trying to have your own it's like you're going to be trying your own um, experimentation. Also, be very careful with the animal bites, animal fleas. Sorry, insect fleas or something like that. Whatever they have in their fur. And um, asthma. Okay. You will also have an attack of asthma. And um, uh, feeling a little bit stressed and depression. And most of the... Uh, body pain and uh, stress that you're going to be feeling it will come from your personal life and not because of your work your work is doing good your work is okay i don't feel like there's something that you need to be stressed out about that and you will also be catching fever or colds because of somebody who will be passing it on to you and uh, right in the middle of the month you will somehow feel a little bit feverish but you will be going on and you won't really mind this at all Plus, as I've said, that you're going to be a little bit vain this month. So, s most of the Geminis, you're going to be going for a surgery, minor or major. And it's because of your dermatological thing. Also, start. you need to start qu um, quitting smoking. Because you will, find your s you will find your gums bleeding and your teeth falling. Okay? Um, I feel like it's also because of uh, some sort of an underlying problem, but smoking plays a big part in it. Let's take a look, singles, if you're going to be finding love this month. Almost the same cards. Let me shuffle it again. Well, I've already shuffled it. It's still the same card, so... I feel like there's really a message here, okay? Uh, well, as I've said, that this whole thing with the air sign, more like the Libra Aquarius, that you just recently started, it's going to be coming to an end, okay? And you will somehow find yourself in another situation where you feel like it's a little bit, you know, more likely... A small opportunity that you don't feel like it's going to go that far. But then eventually it is going to go that far. Because eventually you're going to be falling in love with this fellow. Now. This air sign that you're about to be ending things with. Is uh, more likely a trickster. And I don't really feel like you should really take this person seriously anyway. 
Now this uh, water sign will be making its way into your life and whatever it is, whatever happens, this person or this younger person will be making you realize that it is worth giving them a chance, okay? And they're going to be very responsible, matured, and committing, okay? Like an earth sign person. And I feel like this is the brand new beginning. Even though it's something that you cannot really accept your pride, or it's something that you just couldn't really, you know, like, um, accept for now. Because of your age gap, or because of the, uh, the issues about your age. I feel like somewhere, somehow, you will find yourself being more and more fond of this person. And you will, you know witness more virility and uh, brevity just to make this person be a part of your life and uh, I feel like the answer is yes okay and you also have a past life connection that's why this person won't give up on you until that you're gonna say yes and even till the day that you're gonna be wearing their ring it is very sweet and romantic all right let's take a look at your March forecast. Now let's take off to you <clears throat> to your March forecast. Okay thinking about this earth sign that is actually far from you but it seems like this month of March you will be making a decision of um, making the choice or leaving one of them okay now here it seems like you've been thinking a lot about this earth sign, but you feel like there's not enough foundation, you know, to begin with. And you feel like, why would you leave a stable foundation or a relationship that has been built by, you know, by love and passion over the years? And of course, you know, when you're always in a long-term relationship, you can't really expect for your honeymoon stage to always last. Okay, so right after the honeymoon stage, there comes the companionship okay and you already know that this water sign has been your you know your comrade or your companion for a long period of time and through the testing times and through your struggles and gains and uh, improvements you know and all those things even though most of the time you don't really get along with each other because you don't really you know show much of your feelings you don't really express your emotions towards one another unlike this earth sign that yes they have you know you do have love for them passion care concern and everything else but you don't even know if this person is and can be you know, can be there for you whenever you need them. Because for you, it's like they are, they are so indulgent. They are so into their own world life and goals. And sometimes you feel like you're being left out by their dreams or whatever they, it is that they really want to happen in, your, in their life. You know, it is because that this person knows where to stand in your life. And they perfectly know that, you know, it's like they're still outside or they're still standing at the pavement waiting for you to make a decision. So don't think that, you know, just because that they are the back seat, you expect them to include you in their dreams. Because you know that this kind of relationship doesn't really last and there is no, you know, there's no enough um, timing or, you know, or longevity you may never know what's gonna happen next so don't judge this other earth I mean I'm not justifying that you should cheat that you should choose or you know still remain with this relationship but try to open up your mind as well you know that they know where they stand so obviously they're gonna be forming their own you know their own dreams and their own thing and uh, 
come what may. If you're still gonna be around, then you're gonna be together. But if you're no longer around, then life will go on. Okay? This earth sign is just more practical than the water sign. Even though the, the water sign loves to be in a long-term relationship. But that doesn't mean that they're already happy. The stability and security is there. But happiness and harmony, it has been long gone. Now... Now, when it comes to your work, when it comes to your workplace, it seems like there will be a success, okay? Or right after the completion of a project, then you will be given another project or another task. But the people around you, the people that you're working with, or the people who are supposed to be working with you or for you, are really going against you. So there's some sort of an internal sabotage that's been going on and... It's like you don't want to fail. Your superiors has been counting on you. But the problem here is the people around you or the people that you expect to work with you are not really working with you. Especially that there are two in your, you know, either it's uh, under your team or under your department that is not really participating or that is not really doing their works. And most of the time, they always come up with excuses. Like, for example, they're going to call in sick, whereas they're only watching movies, or they're just, you know, they're just out there drinking with their buddies and stuff like that. So, instead of showing that you're already feeling a little bit helpless because you know that this is their main agenda, you know, why they are, why they are trying to sabotage you and why they are trying to sabotage you, the project. Because they, you know, obviously they don't want you to complete it and uh, prove to you or show to your uh, management or to your superiors that, you're, that you don't really deserve this kind of trust and a bigger project. But you know what? Eventually you're going to carry on. You're going to be doing well. And you will be completing this with the help of only two people under you. Okay. Whether it's um, direct or indirect. And, you know, still the honor and the, uh, the privilege will still be yours. And I feel like um, you will still, you know, persevere. And still, you know... Um, move to the top although there are a lot of people who's been trying to block your way and preventing you not to go up there all right now you've been thinking a lot okay right after the trip that you have made in the month of february which is you feel like you know and you've been comparing this too you know, you feel like, why not try to work it out with the other and just, you know, eventually decide to really cut this other person off. You know, what you're looking is a place where you can really belong because in your situation right now with your, with your um, real spouse, both of you are very successful financially or career-wise or professionally. But the thing here is you're looking for somebody that when you get home, someone will be throwing their arms around you. There's a warm home-cooked meal and, um, you know, the, the house is clean and stuff like that. But you want somebody who is also, you know, can help you financially. And uh, it's not your partner's fault if they're also competitive and they're very good with whatever they do. You know, so if you're looking for somebody who is more domesticated and definitely you know I can't say that you're with the wrong one but your choice and your mindset that is what you have to adjust 
because you've been together for so long and uh, you cannot just change someone according to what you really want or according to your own desires you are the one who should adjust and this earth sign you feel like you know you feel like this person is also the same as your your real spouse and uh it's like you're already like narrowing down what will be the bottom line okay that is the reason why you're you're make, you're trying to make a decision and they slowly cutting off this person you know it's like little by little you will be slowing down the communications slowing down your your meetups and uh, even your sex and stuff like that until that you are ready to cut it off but you know you know one thing both of these people okay both of this this these two people are in your life they're both intelligent and they're very intuitive that right before you could do something they already you know they could feel whatever that's been going on inside of you it just so happens that this earth sign is more vocal or more expressive or more bold you know in showing off their showing off their intentions and showing off their feelings so you know now at the end of this month third week until last week of this month you will be sticking around or you will be spending more time around your family okay and i feel like there are also some issues that you need to fix and that you need to take care of because it's been like long pending because you've been so busy with your work you're always away on a business travel and stuff like that and you've already forgotten how it is to get in touch with your family members and there are some relatives who's been counting on you to fix some issues even before and now it's time for you to fix it up so you want to set aside your personal and emotional issues or problems this month and you will be resolving some family issues which is good for you okay now when it comes to your workplace, as I've said, that there are someone or there are some people who will try to sabotage you. But even though that is the case, you know, you will show them that you are a one-man show, that you don't really need them. That at the end of this project, you will prove to yourself how strong you are, how great you are, even if you're alone. And no matter how many people will try to block you away, you will still persevere and you will still reach the top. Okay? Now, I also feel like this, you know, this people has been trying to sabotage you or go against your way will also feel sorry, you know, f you know, for how they have behaved and how they have performed that they thought that you're going to give up or they thought that you're going to give in to the uh, tiresome work and long working hours. But then they just. You know, they, they will see at the end of the month that you really deserve to be there. And that you really deserve that position. And I feel like they will slowly go back to you and they will slowly show their respect and faith in you. Okay? Now, sex life. Bit of a jealousy, confrontations, and nostalgia. And I feel like you will also feel a little bit lost, torn apart. And um, it's like you will also try to find a solution to a very difficult problem. You will also try to locate and find where your heart really belongs or if, it really, if it's only sex or, you know, physical aspect. But you know to yourself that this is more than or beyond physical. And like with the other person, because, you know, here the temperance card already came out, you rarely touch each other. And if you do talk, it always ends up in an argument. And, you know, whenever you try, the person walks away. It is because that they're already tired of nagging and, uh, you know, saying whatever that's inside of them. Because it only falls on deaf ears. So they feel like, why do I need to, you know, why do I need to reiterate my feelings? Why do I need to express my feelings towards you when you don't even listen in the first place? I'm just wasting my time. You know, so I might as well just concentrate in my own life, own world, and become even more successful and show you that I can make it without you. So, this is what you're actually showing to your spouse. And with the one that you are, you know, running away with... 
I feel like this person is also pretty much independent financially, physically, emotionally. Even though they are not really in that senior position, senior position like what you have right now, or you know, the kind of success that you're indulging right now, they can and they will, and they will show you someday that they could go further than how you have come right now. Okay? And this is more likely a threat to you. So it's up to you, you know? You've been trying to make a decision right since last year and uh, until now. You're still there, stuck, stagnating yourself. And uh, you are, you can't seem to move. Now, when it comes to your health, it seems like you will have some problems concentrating. Most of the time, there is someone who's talking right in front of you and... Um, you're, you're a little bit spaced out. You can't really understand whatever it is that they are talking about. And some people will also notice that you're not really in yourself. Now, it is because of some emotional problems or personal relationships that's been like bothering you. And you will have some colds and flu and, uh, you know, frequent migraines. Be careful with seafood uh, poisoning. You will also have some problems with your ulcer, um, with your, uh, you know, problems when you pee. It's because of your kidney and uh, you will also try to learn some new things you also have you know you're it's like you're also good in forming things or recycling things and sticking them together so i feel like you're going to start doing this project again just to divert your attention your immune system is also slowly becoming more of a target of the virus and bacteria that you've been incurring from the outside so it's time for you to go out there and get more sun and drink fresh lemon with ginger okay now i also feel like you need to have some more fish okay fish diet not just seafood seafood is actually different and uh coffee will also be good for your uh, for your liver whether you're very diet conscious or you're very health conscious and uh, swimming and water therapy will also be good for you so by the end of this month of march you will somehow feel good now let's take a look singles gemini singles yeah because the the last month is actually good for you now for those singles who hasn't really found their love yet let's take a look if you're gonna be lucky this month I will be pulling out your uh, oracle cards right after all the spreads and right after all the months so that we can save time. Because the last two readings of Aries and Taurus are really, really long. And I'm sorry about my voice because I just, you know, um, I just had a fever and I've been coughing for how many days? So my voice is a little bit like this. Mm hmm. Also, I won't be available from November 4th until December 27th because I'm going on a, a past life regression session, healing session. And uh, so that's for, t um, yeah, actually, that's for two months. And past life healing re regression and counseling, life coaching and development. Um, March, I'm already booked for, um, for another healing session. So my timings will be open from, uh, April until October onwards. Sorry, April until October. <laughs> okay. If you would like to book for your own personal healing sessions or past life regression and cleansing and karmic cleansing and stuff like that. Um, before going for a regression first, um, might as well just go f off for a past life reading to know, like, what are the things that you needed to cleanse, do, and, uh, you know, what are the things that you owe from your past life in order for you to cleanse it in your present life and not to bridge it down to your future life. Okay. Now, Singles.
somebody from the past who walked away from you before that you're still kind of holding on you know this is i feel like this is like an aries but uh, more likely a dreamer um financially stable now but now right after all of those times that they haven't been in your life and that they've been away it doesn't mean that they are already with somebody but they have better themselves okay they try to become a better person and stabilize their you know their their life financially and uh they're already successful now the only thing here is they can't seem to get over you and they've been thinking a lot about you they're still wishing for things to reignite again because now they are able to give you the things that you want and they are able to you know take you to fancy restaurant or to give you some fancy gifts or they can show off their expensive car yeah you know, and stuff like that and they're it's like now they're already ready they're single they're financially stable and the only thing that's missing is marriage or family so they're it's like they're a ready package and this is somebody that is younger than you okay and somebody that whom you have shared your past life connection as well even though that this person is very matured and bossy um have a lot of friends being surrounded by a lot of people high in sex appeal and i feel like they're also very attractive but they don't want to settle with something that's like yeah that can be good you're, you're okay you know they want somebody to end up with who is more of a quality and somebody that they can really you know somebody who already knows them well deep right within and who's been there through their um tough times and not right now because this person is, a, is an old soul and they wanted to be with someone who who knows how to value the hardships and the foundation of a relationship or, or of a person or even a friendship okay and that is you so now yeah, this person is already you know financially stable now and i feel like their job is they're really doing good professionally so now it's time they're also you know they're also very excited to show you that look you know i can you know like uh, my pentacles are shiny and uh, i have money right now it's not that they want to blind you with the material stuff but they are more happy or they are more excited to let you know that these are the things that i have been through that i have conquered that i've gotten over with and these are the things that i have learned okay they want to make it appear or they want to show you that they are now rich in knowledge, skills, and experience rather than money. Because money comes and goes. And like what I said, that this person is very, um, very deep. Okay? And they are very sensit sensitive and sensible. So, this person will be coming back into your life around this time or within the next three weeks or third week of March. And I feel like this is the start of your healing and this is the start of a brand new beginning. And you will also be working on your own issues. You will also heal from the past and you will be making a brand new beginning. You'll be working both on yourselves. So good for you. Let's take a look at your April. Gemini singles, it looks like this year is really, really good for you. Okay, this card got left out. Let's take a look what it is. It is the devil card, so let's just put it here. Hmm. 
I didn't notice that there's still another card that's been left, so... I feel like it's been there for, for a reason. So... Let's take a look. Hmm. The truth will come out. Masking your feelings. Uh, 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 walking away. Looks like there will be some sort of a confrontation that's going to be happening, Gemini. And you are about to make a brand new beginning. New changes. Wow. Some of you will also be enjoying your new house or a new, new car this month. And uh, you will also be making an offer to your family or be reaching out to some of your relatives. So good for you. Looks like you are going to have some authority issues with the people who's younger than you. But then you will still be showing like I'm the boss, I'm the team leader and uh, if you want to follow me then good. And if you don't want to follow me then you're going to be losing your job. You're going to be a little bit tough this month of April. I feel, it's just I feel like it's time for you to really give this people, you know, what they really deserve. Because they're, you know, they're acting like they're the boss. And they should know how to act in their place. So now you have to understand that there are some people that even though you are showing how strong you are as a leader and how reliable you are as a leader, that they are still able, you know, and they are still capable of ruining you. And um, it's like they are, you know, uh, they are still going to taunt you and uh, ruin, will try to ruin your foundation, but they're just going to get frustrated. Now the apple of lust. And it seems like... Uh, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like you are the one who's going to be suffering from your own... Um, from your own deed. Because, you know, in the month of March, you will try to avoid this earth sign. And yet, when this earth sign finally feels like, okay, now, you know... He or she's avoiding me because, you know, maybe it's already over. Then it's fine with me. You know, I know where I stand. And now when this earth sign is finally earth sign or, yeah. Yeah, it's still the pentacles. Um, when the earth sign finally accepts that you are slowly moving away and wants to move on. Then don't get offended, okay? Or don't feel like. Why is it that this person is no longer fighting for me? Like what I said, this person is very practical. They know where they stand. And this kind of relationship doesn't really last, you know? The emotions or the love that you're looking for, it's actually right within you. You just need to love yourself, respect yourself instead of looking for that from other people. Whatever your partner's shortcomings are or whatever they, whatever it is that they cannot provide you, you cannot find that from other people. You are only looking for another migraine, okay? 
And you also need to learn how to accept that, you know, it's not always happy times. And uh, <clears throat> I feel like you also need to um, open up to your partner, you know, about how you really feel. Because they're overly frustrated in opening up, in opening up their themselves up to you. And uh, it's like it's nothing happens, you know. And the more they become verbal about their feelings or their emotions, the more you reject them. So they have tried to reach out to you in the past, but now I feel like it's just time for you to reach out back to them. Okay? And uh, you are feeling like, you know, where did all, where did all the good times gone? And um, instead of learning from the situation and instead of learning from this relationships okay that you're currently in you are about to embark another one okay because you're gonna get what you want from the other earth sign and you feel like now nah, you know the fun time's over and uh It's like you're the one who will be, um, who will be proud that, okay, fine, you know. Like, if you feel like I'm moving on from you, you don't want to do this anymore, then fine, I'm gonna go. But it's the other one, it's the second one that you're gonna be leaving behind. It's not the, uh, your real spouse. Now, when it comes to your health, you know, when it comes to your health, Smoking and secondhand smoking, it will both affect your, you know, your, your health. Especially that you are starting to get dried up. You're starting to have more wrinkles than the usual. And you are also losing your hair. If you're thinking or if you're feeling that it has nothing to do with you smoking, it, actually there are a lot of things. Okay? And you will also start to develop that certain smell. Now, you will also become even more conscious about how you look like, your reflection, how you appear in front of other people, and how you are, you know, because you still want to and remain one to look young. Now, there needs to be some sort of balance because you're not really eating well, you're not really eating that much, and you're not really taking care of your health. So it's time for you to go back to your usual health regime. And you need to eat something more healthy instead of those ready-to-eat stuff or junk food or, or uh, fast food stuff. And then drink wine at the end of the day. It's not even healthy. And you also need to start taking care of your health. As in like going back into shape. And... I feel like you will also be revisiting your closet, you know, those uh, clothes that used to fit you, but now it's not really, you know, it doesn't really um, fit you anymore. I don't feel like you are gaining weight. It's more likely that you are losing a lot of weight because you're not really eating healthy. But when you are depressed, you just keep on eating and eating and sleeping and sleeping. And don't, to, don't stay too late at night because of your eyes. You'll also find that your eyes are sometimes having the stars or some blinks or uh, you're, you're, you're too sensitive during the daytime. And you will also have some watery eyes. Um, not really painful, but it's more likely that you're feeling a little bit irritated. Okay. And uh, you also need to trim down your drinking. And if you are too conscious about how you look like or about your skin, then you need to cut off some of the unhealthy vices that you have. And it's time for you to go back and, uh, you know, um, have more fun in the sun and eat something organic instead of those uh, chemically um, formed food. I feel like some of the Gemini women will also be enrolling in a dance lesson or in a dance related exercise. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way?
I feel like this is more likely related to your work. Okay, that people will try to sabotage you and people will still try and go against you because of the influence of uh, another person who is very envious of you. Let's take a look, singles. Having a hard time fighting for your wish. You're happy emotionally and finally the you know the time or this opportunity that you've been waiting for is finally here. But there's still something that you feel like is missing. This water sign, okay, that's been like, that's still in your heart, and that you're only trying to be strong not to, you know, be around this person anymore, but you feel like somewhere, somehow, that you still have a lot of feelings for this person, but, you know what, the right love and the right person is finally here right in front of you, and if you will be wasting that opportunity again, it might take some time for real love to knock on your door. Now, it's time for you to get over this water sign okay and I don't feel like there has been any betrayal that happened in the past but it's more likely that it's more of your incompatibilities and uh, this person is way too headstrong and always concentrated in their own world and love and stuff like that but then you know both of you really love each other but you can't really be with one another you can't even stay in one roof without fighting until the two of you already get tired. I know that the reason why this person is going to be coming back into your life, not because you need to rebuild those bridges again and rebuild the foundation, but it's time for you to forgive. It's just time for you to move on from the past and finally let go or free yourself up from this. And I feel like, you know, this person will be more understanding than the usual, but... I feel like just give this other person a chance that's going to be coming back into your life. Okay. And. There are actually two water signs. But the other one has more earth element in them rather than water. So. And I feel like the person is going to be coming back into your life is. Mm. They have a lesson to learn, plus you are on your way to happiness. So it's like you're not really, uh, you, you haven't really made a choice yet, okay, in the last month. But now this is the moment of truth that whoever will be, whoever that you will be choosing or whoever will remain in your life, that is the one that you're going to be ending up with, Okay. But make sure that you already learned the lesson of the past and make sure that you already have what it takes, you know, to be in a long-term relationship instead of repeating the same mistakes again. Because you are definitely going to be meeting the one that you're going to be marrying or ending up with. Both of you are ambitious, but, uh, you know, it's the kind of being ambitious that is useful and not really destructive and not really opportunistic. Let's take a look at your month of May. Transition. 
death at a new beginning, success, changes, fulfilling your wishes, putting your walls up, hiding, working, intuition, being defensive. Okay, now you're really going to be leaving this earth sign finally, but right in the middle of the month or right at the third week of this month, you will still keep on trying and pry and see and stalk and follow whatever this earth sign is going or doing or if there is already somebody else. You know, when you already broke up, or when you're, or when you're already done with somebody, you're already, you've already gone through a th separation, let go. Stop stalking, stop looking into their social media, you know, stop looking into their Instagram. Just stop. Because it's not really healthy. And obviously, whatever you see, it will just, ups it will just upset you. So what's the point? Looks like you're going to get caught this month. Now this month of May, you will be forcing yourself to create the changes that you want to take place in your life. You know, and um... I feel like you will be pulling more courage, okay, into not really contacting this uh, other person. But um, even though you're going to be hiding, you know, and even though you're going to make it appear that you're slowly moving on, you've already made the choice and this and that, there are still, you know, there are still some occasions that you want to know whatever this person is doing or whatever this person is up to or if they're already with someone else it's like you still have to gain you still have to um have the control or gain the control over this person's life but you know what if you really want to cut it off you need to let go of the control as well you know because this person is pretty much you know, very open-minded, and I don't feel like they're the kind of people or person that is, you know, that they are going to be pushing themselves into your life just to fit. It's not, okay? So you're going to be a little bit surprised that this person is not even looking for you or not even trying to reach out to you. And uh, you will keep on thinking about this person for, like every hour of the day and uh there will be some resentments you know and you feel like you've made the wrong decision but then you know what's the bottom line is that you will still be moving on and you're still going to be gearing up ahead okay so i mean i have to give you the uh you know I have to give you the credit for uh, pulling out the courage to do that, but uh, I feel like it's a you know it's a good start, you know, in the month of May. Now, when it comes to your workplace, again dealing with some liars and dealing with some attention and credit grabbers, and uh, you feel like, you know what, this is really the right time for me to put my foot down and uh, give this people whatever they deserve to have, okay. 
and eventually you will be practicing your, you know, your power as their authority figure, as their superior, and um, you just want, it's like you're already fed up of being trampled down or being stepped on or treat, you know, being treated like a doormat and uh, to think that you're also in the position. So now you will be raising your, you know, your upper hand to the situation and uh, confront this fire sign once and for all. And I feel like you will be bagging the victory and success again as I feel like this will be reaching up to your management's attention and they will be siding on you, okay? So I feel like you don't really have to worry much because this fire sign is the one who will be moving away from you, hopefully. Or I feel like uh, somebody will be requesting for a transfer or for a change. Now... Uh -huh. hmm. Now when it comes to your sex life and love life, okay, you know, <laughs> you moved away from one only to walk away with another one. Now you will be meeting someone else, okay, and, right, and it's like you only want to threaten or you only want to make the other person jealous but then you're gonna find yourself wrong and you're gonna prove yourself wrong as well because this other person that you used to get entangled with they don't really care and then there will be some you know there will be some booing and you're gonna be seeing each other getting around around right in the middle of the mud and then this person will is the one who will be cutting you off and you're the one who will have some problems with your obsession because as I've said that you will be stalking this person in social media or online and you know, will still try to reach out but then nope the per this person is the one who instead of you holding the key the other person is the one who will be holding the key you know, to you and I feel like they're just gonna decide to you know, like um, I'm not really um it's like, you know, I'm not really happy in this situation anymore. And this is not where I really wanted to settle down with. For me, I want what's best and I want something exclusive instead of stealing time and stealing opportunities away from those people who really owns us. Okay? So, instead of you cutting off this person because you are still going to be trying to get in touch, reach out and... Uh, stalk this person online but um, I feel like they're the one who's going to be putting their foot down and it's like enough is enough you know so I feel like that's already a good thing if you can't really find yourself you know restrained or if you can't restrain yourself from seeing and longing and uh, feeling this person then I feel like it's much better that they're the one who already made the decision for this to end finally now when it comes to your health depression also, be careful with some wild animals and tox uh, exotic food. And uh, be careful in getting so near around horses. Otherwise, you might get kicked, literally. And uh, being passed on by a virus and bacteria. Um, you will also feel some sort of um, irritation or burn in your skin because of the new cream or new med medicine that you're using that is related to dermatology. Parasites as well. I feel like you also need to be a little bit careful about this. And you just need to gain some more. Bit of weight and, um, you know, increase your diet. Plus, take some watery um, fruits, okay, to wash down the toxins inside your body. It is actually much better. Let's take a look at your life singles. What's going to be in store for you? You know, thank you to all those people who's been spending some time um, getting all the uh, timestamps. You know, uh, thank you so much, okay, for putting that in the comments. And uh, it will be very helpful to all those people who's been trying to look for a specific month. Okay, thank you so much. 
Let's take a look, singles. Oh. What is going on in your life this month, singles? Looks like you're not really... Oh. See? The one who is... You know, the... The other one, the other person, the other water sign person who came back into your life last month will prove to be that this person is lying to you. Okay? And that they are not really being true to you. So... I feel like, um... Okay, the one. Okay, and there's also an air sign that's b that you've been holding on to, and you will somehow. Well, I don't feel like that this person is the one who'll be betraying you, but I feel like you're gonna find out that they accepted a job someplace else without telling you, and you feel betrayed, you know, because they're leaving soon. As in soon. And you don't even have time to prepare for that. And uh, it's like you're going to be questioning, what about us? You know, I'm ready. I'm ready to commit. I'm, I'm here. And uh, it's like you are going to be questioning this person's intention. It's like now that I'm ready, now that I'm finally giving you what you want, and now you're leaving. I mean, you have to understand that this is, you know, this is their job and this is also their dream. And that doesn't mean that they are going to be moving away from your life. And like that this other person, because I feel like you will also be deciding to go or give this other person from your past a chance. And eventually you will find out that this person is still same old liar as how they used to be. And you're going to get stuck. Okay. Now, right after two weeks of uh, trying to test the water, it's you're going to be moving on. And I feel like... You will eventually end up traveling by the end of this month, okay? To have a little breather and to think about where your life is really going. Because now that you are finally ready to give your heart, your, you know, give up your freedom and uh, give your heart, or sorry, your commitment to this person. And you will find out that this person is leaving and they did not even tell you that they are waiting for a, um, for a dispatch. Oh, well, I mean, you know. So, it's going to be a little bit lonesome month for you singles. So, let's take a look at your June month. I feel like, uh, I feel like this person who's leaving is actually dealing with the military. So, they're about to be deployed soon. Month of June. Now you will be concentrating more on your work and you will be keeping your walls up. <clears throat> oh, this is the overall energy of your month. Betrayal. Now you will try and uh, continue working in your own life, continue moving away, but then, you know, somehow this water sign will find out about things and there will be some confrontations and there will be some truth that will come out of the surface and, uh, well, all of the sudden, that, you know, you don't even know how did this came up or how did this person knew. Because, you know, it's already over between you and the, and the other earth sign or the other person. And now now that, you know, you're, you're trying to live a uh, straight life or you're trying to live a, a better life. Why is it that things are starting to get even more haywired? And I feel like you're also being set up by somebody, which is another fire sign in your family members, or more likely from the family line of this woman, or your spouse, okay? And then there will be some 
instead of you you know here's the thing instead of you apologizing and be and um, being humble you are the one who will be acting aggressive and uh it's like you know if you did not dig up then you're not gonna know about that you know so it's your fault that kind of defense but i feel like uh, the last for the full three weeks i uh, sorry uh last third week of this month of june there will be a lot of revelations and there will be a lot of things that you will somehow feel so guilty about that your spouse will see the truth and will be making a decision as well. Now this, I feel like whoever you've been trusting or whoever you entrust your secrets or whoever saw you last month, this is the one who actually revealed the truth. And it, so, and it happens that this is also a family member either from your side or from the woman's side. Now. Betrayal still. Fire sign still. Now you are about to, you know, to confront a betrayal. That this person had actually started and you thought that everything is already resolved you thought that everything is has been going has been doing well and going okay and all of a sudden this you know it turns out that this person is only resting and trying to buy their time and now they are going to be attacking again but this time you're going to be even more fierce and more aggressive and i feel like your boss will be offering you a better place with a better benefit and better um team so you're gonna be fe there will be some traumas okay and there will be some fears that's gonna be like eating up right inside of you but then it is much better for you to move on and move away from this because this person is just gonna ruin your reputation your mind and your life okay so you're gonna be moving into a new direction you're not gonna get fired you're uh, moving into a new dip to a different department or something like that or to a different team just to keep you away from this bully now when it comes to your sex life I'm already reading this one by one okay so that I we can save time um when it comes to your sex life and love life, it seems like you will try to woo your spouse or you will try to woo your, you know, the one that you're with. And you will also try different methods, different styles and stuff like that. But then your partner or your spouse will somehow feel like you are not thinking about me. You're thinking about someone else and you have done this, you know, not with me. But with another person so there will be some confrontations and there will be other stuff but you're not going to be fighting back okay you will be aggressive and proud instead of act instead of saying sorry you're not but you are the one who will just you know you won't say anything and you will try your best to you know be forgiven but i feel like this person is like nope no can do Let's take a look. Lastly, it's your health. Smoking. Having a lot of sleepless nights. Taking care of your blood, your bones, and your m mental health as well. Um, again, be a little bit more hygienic that every time you're going to touch something or someone... You know, apply some alcohol or a, a hand sanitizer, okay? And uh, again, your ulcer, it is because the peptic ulcer is because of too much thinking. You're not really eating on time and you're not really eating healthy, okay? You will also have some problems with your varicose veins. And if you will have that, you know, distinctive smell because of your stress. And you will also be learning some new craft and skills just to divert your attention. You'll be weighing your options down. And I feel like if you're also smoking, it's time for you to stop and, uh, you know, divert your, you know, revise or whatever it is into something else. And um, I feel like you also need to take some coconut juice or coconut milk. 
I know that you know usually mi coconut milk is only being used in food, but um, I feel like it is also to flush down all the toxins right inside of you because you will slowly feel that something in your body smells a little bit different. And eventually, by the end of this month, you are going to be ascending and you are going to be going well. I feel like it's more about the stress and depression. So let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way? The betrayal will actually come from a family member setting you up. Again, somebody from the past. And if you have a baby, okay, more likely that this is going to be your baby mama or baby father. Baby papa. And... <laughs> okay. And, um... You know what? It's only going to be fun at the beginning. But then this person would just cause you a lot of torments and... A lot of disturbances as well. It is much better for you to completely move on. And you can, you know, I mean, you don't really have to. I mean, you don't really have to. Um, just because that you're feeling lonely. You don't really have to accept this person back into your life because. I feel like, you know, this entire year, you're go you will be going through a big transition for singles. You'll be going through a, a period of transition and you will most likely be meeting the love of your life and the one that you're going to be ending up with. It's time for you to say goodbye to all of those people from your past. It's time for you to close the door. Okay, because this person will only bring nothing but trouble into your life and eventually will leave you right after the betrayal. And then you have to start all over again. It's not really advisable. Okay, so the only thing that I can see that's going to be coming into your life is this old person from the past. And I feel like when it comes to your finances, you will be going on a training or exercise or something like that in order for you to better yourself and to expand your skills and experience let's take a look at your month of july all right july forecast finally You know, this is actually a uh, not so great time when it comes to your family because it seems like there will be some bad news that's going to be coming your way in the month of July. And there will be some gathering of family members and, uh, you know, some family members that will be coming from a long, long way. So I feel like a relative will be calling out for a uh, sad reunion. Okay. Now, aside from that, you will still be looking into the activities and you will still be thinking about this other person from your past and who lives far from you and you will be going out of town for some family or some personal trip okay now right in the middle of the month you will have a hard time you know coping with the changes that's been going on in your life because you thought that you've already done the right thing and you thought that you've uh, made the right choice but somehow Something inside of you tells that uh, you shouldn't have, uh, you know, give up, given up on the other person. And uh, you can see that the other person is, you know, doing well, trying to live on their own life and uh, moving on. And uh, they don't really seem depressed at all, or, you know, or you can't really see many, you can't really see any mark that they are grieving over the loss of your relationship. So yours. You're, you're starting to feel even more guilty or starting to feel even more painful, okay, or being more in pain. 
and uh, heartbroken because how come that this person can be happy without you? Well, you know, that person is actually, I told you, it's very independent. And uh, some past life occurrences, past life karma and deaths. And I also feel like you will be moving into a new home or new environment. Or you'll be opting for a new home residence. Let's take a look at your works and finances. Yet somehow I feel like you will also be walking away from this, uh, well, just, you know, momentarily from this water sign for a little while for you to think long and hard what is it that you really want and where do you think your life is going. You're only trying to pull out more strength because every day, you know, every day this uh, water sign keeps on reminding you of the things that you have done to to them and to, to the relationship so it's like you can't really breathe anymore and this is also the reason why you're going to be looking for a temporary recluse now when it comes to your work life and careers you are going to try to finish off whatever that's needed to be finished off and you will also tire yourself out until that you are just you know like a really dead bat or you, you're almost running out of energy you just want to concentrate in your own work and your own world and uh, complete everything that needs to be completed in order for you to move. And I feel like you are going to be loving the new transfer shift or changes that already occurred in your life. And I feel like finally you'll be earning the right respect that you deserve to have. But, you know, this fire sign person will still be crawling into your turf. And... It's like you're not just going to be paying attention to this person anymore because you know that their power or authority cannot cross that department of yours. All right. You're going to be feeling happy and more accomplished, but you will be working longer hours or you will be focusing more on your work this month because of some emotional turmoils that's been going on inside your life all right now when it comes to your sex life and to your love life as well you will try to reignite the passion for the first two weeks but then you feel like you know it can't be I still keep on thinking about the other person and I can't keep on betraying my spouse or my partner over and over again whether it's mental or emotional and um, somehow the other person could also feel whatever it is that you're thinking or feeling as well so there will be some on and off on and off and I feel like this you know you're gonna be wooing and then walking away wooing and walking away and I feel like this water sign is the one who's gonna be putting their foot down and say enough is enough let's take a look at your house Mm -hmm. Getting back into shape, releasing all the um, bad energies inside of you, keeping your lifestyle happy, sorry, healthy and happy as well, you know, and uh, drinking more or taking more healthy drinks or supplements, skin getting better. The only thing that's, uh, that's left is your migraines and your eyes. Okay, you're going to be overly sensitive when it comes to light and uh, air. And you will also have that allergy or boils, okay, that will be coming out from, uh, that will be coming out in your face or skin. And somehow you will be hmm. somehow you will be a little bit, um, introvert okay because i feel like you're not really going to be feeling well and you're not really in the mood going out and i feel like most of the time either you're going to be traveling by land and you just wanted to stay indoors you know even if you're going to be out of town that's all but then you know what things are going to start getting better especially your skin 
you know the blemishes it's starting to go away although you will i feel like you're gonna have you're gonna eat something that you're gonna be allergic okay okay let's take a look at your card singles of love worried Is it that these are all reversed? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Feeling that you are... You're afraid that you will never ever... Um, find or meet someone new. And then you are just starting all over again. It seems like you'll be starting something that you've already had a foundation... With somebody from the past. And this is again the air sign. Somebody that's younger than you. And there has been some betrayals. Or there has been some lies and alibis in the past. But then this will. You know more likely. Not really occur anymore. Because both of you have already learned your lessons. And you know. I feel like you still have some hang ups. With somebody from the past. Who is someone else. But then you will eventually make it through. Make it up. And will be learning your lesson. And there will be a big transitional phase. That you're going to be going through. And I feel like this is. You know. This is it. You can kiss your single life goodbye. You know. There, there won't be any more confusion. There won't be any more any alternatives or there won't be any other thing okay that's going to be coming up so i feel like you don't really have to worry too much okay because finally you will be learning your lesson and this is the right one that is meant for you another air sign okay but somebody from the past who's younger than you so let's take a look at your august forecast finally And someone who actually, you know, someone that you've been nurturing or somebody that you feel like is your son or your, your daughter or somebody that you feel like um, always look, you know, needing for your unconditional love. Mm hmm All right, the month of August. Finally. Oh, things are getting better. At work. You'll also be receiving a recognition. Or plaque or uh, something like that. You know, or like an award for the completion of a project. Because you are, you know, you will be one of the top senior executives this year. That will be receiving... And like a double, a double benefit, like either you're going to be um, promoted to a higher position, plus will be given much more benefits and a bigger office. Now, okay, now it seems like you are really destined to have this. And I feel like you are, you know... Um, you have finally surpassed all the tests that has been put onto you. And now that it is your time to shine, it's your time to receive the recognition and harvest your hard-earned 
labor. Okay, though, right behind this, you're still thinking about this person who's who's all, who already lives far from you, or who already lives away from you, or out of the city. Okay, though. You feel like this person doesn't even miss you or this person doesn't even reach out to you Now you are finally coming to a point where Fine, you know, it's really time for me to really cut it off because we haven't been talking for a long while now And maybe this is it, you know So you're gonna be walking away Permanently Okay, which is good, you know, and why did you just try to Try to make it work first with your real spouse, and uh, who knows? That maybe the, the the only thing that's missing, and the only thing that you're like kind of looking for in your uh, relationship and life is just right within you. You know, be a little bit contented with whatever you have instead of looking into other people's cups. Now, when it comes to your work, again, as I've said, there will be recognition and a brand new beginning. Your courage and your brevity, your hard work, your dedication, integrity, and your, um, you know, your, um, your honesty, okay, to your job will be rewarded. However, that there won't be... I mean, not all people will be very happy. You know, people will be congratulating you. People will be sending you, you know, gifts and uh, whatever it is in your way. And all of a sudden, you will somehow feel like, why is it that some people cannot just be happy with my accomplishments? Again, okay, again. Some people will be sabotaging you. Some people will also be humiliating you because of their insecurities and shortcomings. But... This is not really the right time for you to revert back or this is not really the right time for you to say anything to them. You just need to keep silent. Just let your success and victory, you know, rub it off their faces and uh, continue being happy and continue being more efficient. Because there is another victory that you're going to be celebrating soon and let them, you know, feel sorry for themselves and let them be more envious and um, be more jealous of you. There will be a big transition that's going to be coming your way, but I feel like someone will also be losing their job for acting so childish and unprofessional. When it comes to your sex life and love life, you're going to be feeling alone and left alone, isolated, walking away from a current relationship. And you are going to start thinking, you know, maybe this is not what I really want. But then all you need is just a time for yourself and a time for a new, brand new beginning, removing all the cobwebs and lies of yesterday. And your spouse will also, you know, I mean, this is the aftermath of even if you're saying that I'm, I'm starting to change and you know, I've already cut off that relationship. We're no longer together. You cannot expect other people to just believe you for whatever you were, you will be claiming because you've already lied in the past and they already caught you. How do you expect them to believe you once again, right? So you need to be a little bit more open-minded. If you need to find to go and find yourself again and to go and so, to do some soul searching, do so. Your partner or your spouse won't understand whatever it is that you're going through, but you have to do whatever it is that you need to do for yourself in order for you to have a better relationship, better peace of mind, and better energy. All right, you also need to detoxify, and uh, there will be around third week of this month that you'll be feeling a little bit suspicious that your partner is also conniving with another person. Outside of your marriage. Uh, which is more likely it's just your paranoia. Just continue, you know, asking for an apology and continue asking for your sorry until that they will be ready to accept it. That's one thing that you can definitely accept. Okay, well, things are starting to get even better. You will also be feeling a little bit more energetic. It's just that, well, well, it's a good thing. Instead of drinking liquor, you'll be drinking a lot of tea or a lot of coffee. 
and uh, you will start rebuilding your health, your body, and feeling more conscious about your your skin and your nature. And I feel like you'll be focusing on yourself, loving in yourself, water therapy, your swimming therapy, and um, tuna and salad diet for this month. And I feel like you will eventually be happy again. Uh, you're going to be bringing back the uh, disaster of your life or disaster in your life, disaster in yourself and how it used to be. Let's take a look, singles. Your life this month of July. Healing. Okay. Healing from two people, Earth sign and Fire sign. And you're going to be making a decision as well, learning your lesson well. Mm hmm. Now, okay, walking away from the betrayal, concentrating in your own work. Now, some Geminis will be concentrating in their own life. There will be a brand new beginning, but then you will also be moving away from older fire sign and older earth sign. Now, somehow there is a younger earth sign that's going to be coming your way, and you feel like, why not, you know, why not try this person? Why not try something young this time? Maybe it could work. But then it will only be happy at the beginning, but then you will still be looking for some. It's like there will be, it, it's a, a huge adjustment for you and it's most likely not really going to last. And you're the one who will be walking away and uh, not feeling so contented with the situation. So you are the one who will be like slowly moving away. And you feel like, nah, it's not really going anywhere. You know, I don't, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like the guy or I like the person. But I don't feel like it's going to go anywhere. You know, both of our maturities and both of our both of our um, aims and priorities are different from one another. And uh, I feel like you wanted to have a family and this person is not yet ready. Okay, so this is for the other Geminis who is currently going through moving on and who is also going through some sort of a transition. Okay. Now let's take a look at your month of September. Finally. Now, this month of September, it seems like you will start thinking more about your work, more about standing on your own or making it on your own. You feel like you already have enough foundation, skills, experience, connections. You, want, you know, it's like you're already successful in your own field, yet you want to have more. You want to expand. But... This is not really the right time as I feel like there will be some family issues that will be calling for your attention and will be calling for your participation. So instead of taking care of your own needs and your own dreams, you will be flying to your family or you will be attending a family meeting or family gathering just to talk about, you know, whatever that needs to be done with your family. And I feel like if you're also involved in the family business, they will be asking you to participate or to at least help out. Now, mm, you're going to be moving, but I feel like you want more, okay? 
you want to be transferred or there will, you will be opting for a request to be transferred to another department which is i feel like this is your main interest and you'll be talking to your boss you feel like you know with a with a previous transfer you're okay you're good you're done but then the fire sign is still touching you it's still bullying you and stuff like that so you there is one particular department or there's one particular project that you really want to handle and be with and join and you will be talking to your boss about this that you know even though it's going to be a lot of negotiations and meetings and stuff you will eventually win in the end and you will be getting what you wish and you, your, your desire and you will be traveling or moving or shifting in that area or place and there will be another transition or another changes that's going to be like making your heart flutter by the end of this month now let's take a look at your You're missing someone and then I feel like this is the time where you will be dropping by that person's place and you will find out that this person is already with somebody else okay feeling a little bit insecure but then you will somehow feel like why not okay so there will be another physical interaction or you're gonna be having sex with this person once again but then you will start it's like you know you can't really make a stand to your decision that while your partner is not the one who's going to be making a decision, you will keep on doing whatever it is that you're doing, okay? You can't help yourself not to see the other person, and then you will be sneaking around again back into this person's life and back into this person's um, house, okay? Even though they're already with somebody, you will try and find the courage that, nope, I'm the one that you really love. We are in love with each other and not with that person. I know that you're just trying to rebound and get back at me. So... Back to that old times again. Yeah. Well, it's up to you. you. Gotta learn your lesson. I feel like you'll only be, you know, stopping this, whatever it is. Not until that. Mm. Not until that your your partner is the one who will be, you know, going away. Mm-hmm. Feeling a little bit preoccupied, trying to divert your, 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 um, your energy and your guilt into um, meditation, yoga, or tai chi, and uh, you will be looking back into the past, feeling a little bit nostalgic. Um, not really eating well again. You gotta check out your eyesight, you know, or your vision, or something like that, because I feel like. The problem is not in your eyes, it's in your brain or it's in the nerve of your brain that something is growing right through the vein where it's connected to your eyes. That's why you're feeling like that and you've been having a lot of migraines. Plus, you also need to be a little bit more hygienic with your food, wash it before you eat and uh, there will be a brand new beginning. Some Gemini women will also be finding themselves pregnant, okay? And will be feeling more blooming because you are going to be bearing a uh, baby girl. Okay, good for you. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way? This month of September. I feel like you will be mm -hmm. I feel like you will be um, changing some of your attitudes and behaviors and some of the old patterns from your old relationships and I feel like you are gonna be making it through this time 
you're gonna be working it out you're gonna be giving this other person a chance and you will also try to stay and extend much more of your patience understanding and your love as well you are also you will also start growing more and more funder but then you know you can't really uh, you, you can't really take you know whatever it is from this person because you can't change a person in an overnight okay there are some things that you will still be feeling problematic and feeling a little bit overburdened that this person is so immature childish and why is it that you know it's a it's a simple common sense why is it that they cannot really grasp that so you are older you have to make them understand you know the do's and don'ts and what you really don't want and want in a relationship okay it's only a matter of understanding and learning the language of love and relationship and uh, you just need to make the other person understand and open up your heart and your expression all right let's take a look at your month of october October. Oh, October is not really going to be a very good month for you. Be very careful, okay? Now, you've already tried to cut off this other person into your life, but then, then you managed to get the, you know, you, know you, you managed to get this person back into your life, and now things are starting to get haywired again. Instead of you arranging and fixing your life, now things are starting to become even more chaotic and, and even more shaky, okay? You know what? Um, you also need to start working on your meditations and working on your prayers because I feel like this is the month where you will be like, you know, like enough is enough. Well, you're going to be creating an excuse that you have to attend some family matters and stuff like that. But I feel like you will be including or you will be dropping by to this person's place, the earth sign. And, you know. Oh. You're going to be very happy again. In a wrong way. Feeling so in love. Well, you're really, you're really going to be going for it. Anyway, so just prepare for your spouse to really walk away from you. If this is what you really want. Okay, when it comes to your work life or to your careers and finances, you will, wow. <laughs> You're already uh, receiving six figures in a year, and yet you will be increasing much of the figures, you know? I mean, not the figures, but just uh, the number, okay? The first number, the first digit. And I feel like you're going to be very happy, because right in the middle of all of your personal crisis, emotional crisis, marriage crisis, you are... You know, you're continuously doing better in your job, in your career, and you are continuously being prayed and uh well praised sorry praised and uh, hailed by your superiors but i feel like the transfer that you've been asking and requesting is still long pending and i feel like this uh, superior of yours you know which appeared here as an emperor or an heiress guy is kind of observing why do you want to be in this department why do you want to be in this team why do you want to be in this project you need to justify that okay so whatever it is that you are asking it's still going to be hanging in the month of october
Now, when it comes to your work life and sex life, as I've said, sorry, sex life and love life, like what I said, you've already made a choice in the past and now you are doing it again. You're going to be very happy, but then you will be, you will be like swinging back and forth, you know, with a woman that's, you know, right within your home and with a woman that's been like swinging back and forth with two people as well. Okay, and you're uh, you're fine with that kind of situation, believing that this person is really in love with you. So why not? Now, <sighs> this is actually really funny because you're conniving with someone who's also conniving with another person, and the one that you're originally with also has a temptation around them. This is like a merry-go-round, you know. This is no longer like three is a crowd. This is more likely a party already. Well, it's... <laughs> well, you know, it, the time for you to choose and the time for you to make a choice has been long pending since this uh, the, fir the first few months of this year and... Uh, you managed to get out of it and now you you know you can't really stay out of it so well you went back so i feel like you're the one who will get served okay let's take a look you know gemini your life your work life and your finances will be very, very good. I don't see any problem with that. You will continuously be more successful in whichever or whatever field you are in right now. Okay, money will keep on coming in. There will be some people who will be going against your way, will be betraying you, sabotaging you. But that, you know, that is actually what happens when you are successful and when you're good at something. But when it comes to your personal life, love life, marriage, sex life and everything else that is where your world is really rocking and turning upside down okay you can't really even balance it now let's take a look let's shuffle again hmm things are starting to become even more clear better you're all you will also start looking more blooming, especially for women who is who's going to be pregnant during this month. Uh, lack of sleep or some women who is already pregnant will be sleeping more, more and more every day. It's like instead of sleeping 8 hours, you're going to be sleeping 12 to 16 hours long. Okay? And I feel like you also need to take care of your bones, your breast, have some check. And um, well, even for men, you know, you also need to check out your breast. And uh, I feel like you need to check your feet if it's getting swollen. You also need to have some light exercise for pregnant women. And for men, you need to have more rigid exercise and sweat it out. Again, about your um, immune system, which is you're going to have some problems with your bronchial part and chest and lungs. And you will easily catch fever and flu. Plus sensitivity to light in your eye problems. As I've said, it's not your eyes that is a pro the problem. It is the vein that is connected to your eyes. Okay. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of October? And before we check out your month of November. Good. Family. The lovers. Mm -hmm. You know, this fire sign is only good in talking, but once they're already in better, once they're already there, you know. You know that you're not really that compatible with each other. Uh, they're wild. And they're, you know, they could give your fantasy. They could suffice your 
wildest fantasies, but then you feel like somehow it's either they're preoccupied with somebody else or they are always thinking of someone else, okay? Anyway, this is already in the past and whatever that's coming your way with this water sign or with this person that is ready to have a family with you, cherish it and treasure it and take care of it because I feel like you only need to have a closure with this fire sign and no need to endure into any sort of betrayal okay it's time for you to leave everything behind and it's time for you to leave your past behind those bad memories and those toxic relationships okay so you are about to embark a new beginning new life and finally you're going to be in a relationship this month all right officially let's take a look at your month of november Now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. your work, you know, I don't see any problem with your work. It's just that your work life will be very much affected because of your, again, your love life that is very complicated. And it's, uh, you know, it's like a branch of a tree that points from here and there. And, um... You're going to be very preoccupied with this other person that you feel jealous or that you just want exclusivity from them, but you cannot give exclusivity in return. There will be some sort of a confrontation and jealousy and uh, you will also be called out by your family from some sort of a family meeting or gathering and there are some responsibilities that you need to do, fulfill and done and, you know... Um, that you also need to, what do you call this? Um, that you also need to perform. Oh, okay. This is related to the other relative that has passed away a few months ago. Okay, let's take a look at your work life. If you're actually working as a lawyer right now, expect that your family will be asking you to do some legal stuff that is related to the inheritance of your cousins or relatives. Or the division of properties and assets. Okay. Now, when it comes to your workplace and your finances, finances will be doing good. The... Um, there is a trip that will be canceled that you're supposed to be taking this month. But it will be pushing through around the middle or third week of this month. And I feel like it is because of someone who is going to get involved in an accident and you have to cover up for them. Okay? It is a woman. Uh, reddish blonde hair. And she's already a mother. She is the one who's supposed to be taking care of all your of all your responsibilities while you're going to be attending either a conference exhibition or training or whatever it is that you're going to be away for two weeks. And yet, you know, I mean, it's it's not really it's um it's not really intentional. So it's I feel like this person will be getting involved in some fatal crash and you need to stay and you need to cover up for them because all of the responsibilities that you will be handling and uh, sorry that you will be leaving in the hands of this woman is very sensitive and cannot be passed on to anybody except you and her okay so you're going to be staying behind until that 
you know, things will get sorted out. So I feel like you'll be working remotely. You're not going to be entrusting those responsibilities to anybody else, but you will be taking it along with you with your travel. Okay, which is I feel like someone which is a fire sign will be volunteering who can take care of your job, but the management will say nope, no can do. Yeah, they feel you know you're you're gonna assure them that you can take care and you can handle the jobs or you can take care. Some of the things that needs to be done and you know, it can be worked out through online communications. So yeah. Now, sex life and love life, confrontations, drama, sex, power, power struggle, prowess and uh, lust, jealousy. revelation so if you think that your spouse will never ever catch you this is the time where you will be you know uh, your cover will be blown up and um i feel like you're jealous with the other person and this the other and this other person will never stop until that they are you know they're really they've already confirmed their hunch and their suspicion and yeah there you go so what's going to happen is that they are holding the key. There will be some confrontations, aggression, bickering and bantering, gaps, communication gaps. And um, you will try and woo this person again. But then I don't feel like it's, you know, it's going to um, happen again. They're the one who's going to be packing their things and leave. I told you. Let's take a look at your health. Oops. Okay, I dropped the cards. Okay. Alright, now, be careful with some kidney stones, um, have a straight veg diet, steamed, no oil, no fats, no whatsoever, and tea, if you can, no coffee for now, you need to strengthen your immune system, you will also offer an alternative method, because you will have, you'll be checking out with the doctor, and you will discover that there is something going on, you know, with your upper part of your body and uh, it's much better for you to go and uh, check out with a professional or with a health physician and don't stay too late at night don't strain out your eyes too much you can practice but not too much especially in the night because uh, this is where you always have some irritabilities be be hygienic with your food and um, you'll be very conscious still with your face and I feel like you'll be opting for some meditation or spiritual enlightenment and healing. Let's take a look, singles, what's going to be coming your way before we check out your December forecast. I feel like an overall this reading will still consist three hours of reading. <laughs> I tried to shorten it, but uh, maybe it's, you know... Last year, I think it's only for one hour or two hours. Lies, alibis, knowing something from the past, 
And some Geminis was also going through a divorce. Expect that. Of course, then you, you know, you're going to be single. But uh, expect some delays and some lies that will be coming out in the open. Now... This is happening too fast. Don't move in right away. Not because that you've already opened up yourself to someone, okay? To someone whom you feel like, you know, it's worthy of your choice or worthy of the space in your life. You will just suddenly move in right away. It's, you know, that's not actually the case. And I feel like you are doing things too fast, okay? Mm, this person doesn't really believe in long dating, but I feel like you need to get to know each other first. Otherwise, you are just going to get yourself entangled in another uncompromising, sorry, in another compromising situation. And that you're not really ready for this. Just say that when you are not yet ready, then you're not yet ready. Instead of saying, um, you know, I'll think about it. And I feel like, you know, this person will understand Otherwise, you are just repeating the same pattern as what happened to you and this other earth sign from the past. Okay? It's not yet time for you to move in together. It is too fast. No matter, you know, even if you're dating for like six to eight months already, it's, it's still too fast. Okay? And there are a lot of things that you still needed to know and understand about this person right before moving in together. All right, and still, you know, you, you still need to enjoy your personal space. You guys still enjoy your your intimate moments together without overcrowding each other. And, you know, it's not yet time. Let's take a look at your December forecast. December. Ooh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I told you this water sign is going to be walking away out of your life. <laughs> okay, now... It seems like your plan in the past are no longer working and now this water sign finally have had enough and they're going to be filing for a divorce this month of December, okay? There will be some division of assets and properties and you will be meeting with your lawyers and I feel like you're, you know, it's like you're going to be weathering the storm alone and this is where all the reality will be dawning on you and you will somehow feel like I am so stupid of ruining this relationship, but then it's already too late. This other person is also planning to move into another state or another area. And I feel like there will be some... It's like there will be a mutual decision that nobody will be keeping the house and both of you will be selling the house, okay? And... Regardless if you are, if this is under mortgage or if this is, you know, something, uh, something that the two of you wants to work out or needs to work out. And I feel like you will be, there's still some other family matters that you still need to attend to. But I feel like this is more likely that you need to skip or that you want to skip because... Um, now that your world is finally shaking and it's not actually moving, it is shaking and being torn apart just because of you. And I feel like you'll be asking for a wise advice from three essential people in your life. And they're going to be advising you not to sign the divorce contract or papers 
to give it another try and to work it out. Still. Well, it's not that they are tolerating whatever it is that you're doing, but they feel like it's worth saving the relationship or the marriage. You know? Now, when it comes to your careers and finances, travel, working, project, stability. Okay, someone will be lying. Now, I feel like the uh, the vacation or the leave or whatever it is that this uh, person who's supposed to be replacing you. Oh. They're going to be resigning afterwards, or they're going, they're going to be resigning and filing for a claim. It seems like they cannot get what they want from the company, and they feel very, you know, they feel like it's so unfair. How come you can get this? How come I cannot get this? So there will be some comparison. But you are going to be going and traveling within the second week of this month for travel for business-related matters. And eventually, you are going to be... Oh, there's a contract that you need to sign, or there's a contract that you need to, you know, for another party to sign and for a project to be initiated, and it's a, it's a huge amount of money. It's a, it's a very big project, okay, and it, it this is a success that you're going to be fighting for. This is a success that you're going to be. You know, aiming for. I also feel like this is the time where you're going to be thinking of buying a new boat. <laughs> well, your spouse will be uh, kicking you out of the house, so... <laughs> I feel like this is your, your main thing to just buy a boat or yacht. And live there for a little while while you're trying to sort out your problems. I just make sure that you're going to be alone there. Now, when it comes to your sex life and love life, confrontations, jealousy, walking away, revelation aggression fightings arguments continuous um affair and sex with the other person who's the third party and i feel like the other person will be drinking their pain down and uh, they're the one who'll be making a decision and finally putting their foot down and they cannot really take it anymore the cheating, the lies, and the alibis, the cover-ups, and how long has it been going, and then stuff like that. That no matter how ma how many times, or no matter how much you, you will try to woo them, they're not going to be forgiving you. Yep, there will, there will also be realizing that it's because that you don't really have sex anymore. And there are times that when you were wooing them, they're not really available, but then, you know, still it's not an excuse. So they just feel like it's much better to let you go than, you know, than for the two of us to be stuck in this relationship and we already want two different things in life. So it's not because that the, you know, your partner is punishing you, but more likely just giving you what you really want and what makes you happy. Oh. Um, so much for love. Things that you actually do for love. Now when it comes to your hmm when it comes to your health okay making an offer being religious praying getting in touch back into your faith water therapy rehydration stop smoking otherwise your health will get you will deteriorate more be careful with some animal bites, insects, and fleas. And take more brand and, uh, you know, go for something organic. Water therapy, swimming therapy. Sticking around with some small gardening. And being more vegetarian. 
And again... You know, something ar someone around you is actually infected with the virus and bacteria. That's why you keep on getting sick. It's time for you to move away from this person, you know? Uh, this person is actually a carrier of a... Um, not really a venereal disease, but more likely they have something inside of them that they, could, that they couldn't really get out. And the more they interact with people, the more people they infect with. Okay? So... Let's take a look, singles, for your final forecast. And I will be reading your Oracle cards for each month. Okay, you're not really happy with the situation, being busy and preoccupied, communicating back with somebody from the past which is an earth sign, traveling, feeling a little bit lonely and uh, fighting through temptation. Still thinking about that person from the past, having a hard time moving on. Okay, feeling, same love. You know, you need to make a choice because I feel like the other person, you know, from the last spread that I did is um, actually ready to give whatever it is that you want, but then. It's like you are all over the place. Now, this time you are communicating back with the earth sign. Whom you feel like there's more financial stability and maturity and responsibilities and stuff like that. And you feel like you're all over the place emotionally. You're feeling a little bit lost. It's like you don't know what you want. And sad to say, this is going to be the last, uh, you know, this is the last spread for you. But, um, you better make a choice. Where do you really want to, you know, with, who do you really want to settle down with? Yes, there's more stability and security with this earth sign, but then... Um, both of you are very ambitious. And most likely that you're, you know, right after the honeymoon stage, you're going to become housemates you know and you're looking for somebody who will be staying at home or you're you're looking for someone who will be more domesticated and will be focusing and taking care of you so think long and hard about this now let's take a look at all of your oracle cards for this uh, 2019 i'll be pulling out 12 oracle cards I'll be using the Fairy Tarot. Okay, January. Wheel, delays are over, sudden or unexpected good luck, a new car or travel. Hmm. February, seven of autumn, have patience and don't worry, take time to rest and plan your next steps, a prudent investment of time or money. March, king of winter, knowledgeable, experienced, fair-minded, unemotional, get advice from someone professional and objective, public speaking, unemotional relationships. April, Prince of Summer, romantic, captivating, dramatic, flirtatious, 
Falling in love suddenly, being swept off your feet, the need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. May the hermit find or be a mentor, take a break from society, commitment to your spiritual growth. Well, you know, right in the midst of your success and other, you know, other dealings in life, don't forget to always nurture your spiritual health and growth, okay? Month of June, eight of summer. The desire for a more meaningful life, realizing that it's time to move on, choosing to make major life changes. July 3 of spring, plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience, there are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. August, Emperor, use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized, a firm but passionate, sorry, compassionate leader. September, Queen of Winter, strong, patient, self-sufficient, and funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. October, the moon, powerful, intuitive ep epiphanies. Letting go of worry and fear, understanding the truth of a situation. Okay, finally, November, justice. Take the time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end. Fair and objective de decisions. December, Queen of Summer. Loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. Listen to your heart. Intuitive insights you can trust. Taking care of others. Perhaps too much. Alright. So, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Alright. So. Mm, and you're Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Majority of the colors of the uh, of the uh, oracle cards are actually violet or purple. So this actually means that you need to be more in touch with your higher self. Try to nurture your spiritual growth and your spiritual faith. You know, so that you, because you, you know, this entire two thousand nineteen, financially and career wise, you don't really have to worry about that. You're gonna be. You're gonna have a lot of stability. You're gonna have a lot of success. That you will be enjoying, okay, and that you will also be praised, earning recognition. In fact, that some of the Gemini's, whether you're already married or single, you will be, um, you will get promoted twice. Okay, but when it comes to your personal things, when it comes to your family. <laughs> marriage or affair that is where your world will be turning upside down I feel like it's time for you to go for some sort of a counseling alright so anyway have a great 2019 and thank you for watching listening sharing and you know taking the time to watch my video please follow me at my Facebook Twitter and uh, Instagram. All right. Blessings to you.